Hello everyone, I am Fesu Lima, Batubara from Engineering Division of PLNSC and my colleagues Ari Wiradi from Engineering Division 2 of PLNSC. Thank you for coming today. We will do presentation regarding our paper in this event where the title is Follow-up Numerical Simulation of Polarization Characteristic at Cyclone and Furnace of 110 MW CFB. Circulating fluorescent bed CFB boiler is one of implementation of the fluorescent bed boiler technology. It has a correct recognition, especially in the indus industrial forward generation user, for it is various useful purposes such as ability to operate with low frame color combination and its smaller consequences of the improvement, where it's a low NOx emission implementation on the bit trial prototype on a commercial scale to get the CFB combustion addition with high efficiency and low emission actually it is very costly. Until now, the application of this experiment is still performed with insurance in other approach towards numerical simulation is getting bigger along with the fast deployment of crafting technology include computational fluid dynamic or it is known as computational fluid dynamic the study from Kinka 2015 were examined air area and fluidization of sand could reach up to 30 meters per second and damage to the cyclone surrounding. It was found that abrasion rising of the wall on the cyclone by both air and sand potentially happened. Recent research from Vijayanto et al. and Sudarmanto Vijayanto et al. 2018 and 2015, 2017 state that simulation study about 30 megawatt CFB boiler that was investigated with various effects of five different primary and secondary air ratio with full load only from Sudarmanta et al. 2017 a simulation study that concluded higher erosion rate was influenced by higher fluidizing air velocity and from Birahadi and Mirmanto 2019, simulation with various primary and secondary air ratio and three different loads were conducted. Both of two research is only focused on the furnace and did not explain related to the cyclone. Where the methods we use CFD simulation, um, boiler nagan, coal fire with uh, three variation of loads and two variation of air ratio become six cases here where the multi pieces two pieces alien is implemented and we assume that coal is as a, an air and the bed material was sensed only without limestone the other thing is the diameter of the sense is 0 0.1 millimeters and we set the density as constant 2500 kilogram meter cubic the transient flow until t 60 seconds and boiler itself as isothermal bypass section and the phase size maximum is 0 0.2 meter the with the with the hex dominant and the simplification of being wall superheater and injection port and we included in the inlet in the the start of the patch with the sense elevation 2.3 millimeter and with the six uh, boundary condition uh, we uh, commonly use the all of the fluids as air only the gas or the become a mixture as you seen on the screen that the secondary I air nine pipes on the front and 12 pipes on at the rear with the four inlet coal at front and inlet primary air as flat area we come to result discussion here first superficial velocity where it means air velocity only it has impacted the free decision of sand caused by higher superficial velocity. Ari et al. concluded that greater primary air contribute 
to superficial velocity more than 10 mm per second around central x-axis at the bottom of furnace where t time after 50 seconds at every load variation with larger area in this study the air velocity distribution was analyzed from the x-axis upward furnace plot to the distance from the center point of the furnace at height of one meter above the bottom furnace this one uh, one meter above data collection at height of one meter above the furnace was carried out bottom of furnace was carried out because in this area there was a dense bed so that it can be used to find out how the distribution and value or superficial air velocity where superficial air was used for contact with sand particles in the graph it shows the velocity plot in direction of upward or z z where the velocity at its load did not exceed three meter per second and in generally only and at two meter per second we saw the air velocity entering the turbulent transition where it's 1.76 meter per second the right figure here so that the same tendency where the air velocity toward upward or z did not exit at 3 meter per second so it can be concluded that the load addition which is in this case the addition of combustion air capacity did not directly affect the superficial air velocity in the bottom furnace this is slightly different from Vijayanto et al which concluded that the air addition of primary is increased superficial speed uh, we can discuss it that this, this difference because could caused by several things including the difference in the air ratio that is not far away from the same load or it's possibly due to the simplification of the primary air nozzle where it was considered to flow entirely from the bottom of the furnace without the nozzle and we can see that a very high negative velocity from the central furnace this is possibly because the pickup point was carried out at an elevation above one meter where sense material primary air secondary air and including returning air from the cyclone were mixed there and we go to the find solid volume of fraction in this two chapter have results for the distribution of volume fraction of sand that are relatively smaller or more commonly called fine particles fine particles were different from dense bed which tend to only fluctuate in the lower furnace which was useful for the process of fluidization fine particle tends to be smaller and not lumpy like dense bed dense beds the number of fine particles reaching into the cyclone could cause destructive aberration in the area it was necessary to adjust the value of very small volume fraction range so that the resulting contour is more informative for the analysis of the distribution of sand particles or fine particles in the simulation a range of 0 to 0 0.05 was selected to see the area with high sand volume fraction Kinker uh, at all this is research was focusing on cyclone area uh, and it need to be figured out deeply so that it was compared in the simulation where the data extraction were carried out at the midpoint of the right cyclone around the 2.5 meter in accordance with this left figure it has the purpose to find out the value of the sand volume fraction on those specific area based on data from right figure here it was concluded that the higher the load the higher the volume fraction to enter the cyclone as well as with the additional addition of primary air indicate the higher sand volume fraction appear at 70 megawatt 50 50 so a very small fraction of sand of volume then to get good quality data extraction of the data into graph to get the x and y direction velocity factor at the cyclone inlet in accordance with the target area as 
you can show in this picture has been done so that the sand velocity obtained in the x in the x and y direction we show the speed of sand in x direction to enter the cyclone reach 16.7 meter per second and y direction reach 4.98 meter per second based on both graph the increase in load and increase in primary air cause sand velocity to increase Conclusion This numeric simulation has been done at two load variance and three alternative or combination ratios. The outcome were so in the chart of superficial velocity, furnace pressure, fine solid volume of sand fraction, and including sand velocity as parameter that affect polarization. The study has same direction of array at all calculation that operation with our combination ratio. 15% to 15% and 15.5% to 14.5% leads to good fluorization at 63% loads manual fluorization 100% and 110% with all those are combination ratios will cause a great number of sand enter inlet chicken and also hanger sand and air velocities. Thank you for all.